Greetings everyone, and this is Ganicus. I have been waiting to make a video about my journey to Masters in League of Legends for a while, but I wanted to make sure I was truly ready to share what I've learned. It's taken a lot of hard work, but I'm finally at 250 OP with a decent win rate, so I feel like I'm in a really good position to share some tips and tricks with you all. So let's get to it. The most important thing I believe is becoming a scholar. By becoming a scholar, I mean doing your research and absorbing knowledge about the game. To provide some background story, I have always been an MMORPG player. But MMOs, unless it's WoW or ESO, they are often very small games with a small PvP population. And you can often get away and be competitive by just trial and error things and figure out how the game works on your own. I have always done that in MMOs and I have always been successful in those games. But unfortunately, it was just not enough for League of Legends. Don't get me wrong. I believe trying out things and figure out things on your own, it's very important and should be encouraged. That's part how I climbed that higher now. However, League of Legends is a very old game and has an insanely high learning curve. For a new player, it would take a lot of time to figure out how things work on their own and it would make too much time to learn the game's fundamentals. Lucky for us, there are a lot of videos and content out there that will help you save hundreds of hours of gameplay trying to figure out how things work on your own. I was a tutor for three years at the University of New Mexico and I'm a firm believer of the growth mindset. Anyone can improve and get better. Sometimes it's good to learn from different sources as sometimes the message is better absorbed or clicked when coming from different sources or the way the messenger explains makes more sense than others, or they simply complement each other until you can finally filter out what you already know or that doesn't work for you. Knowing that, I started absorbing content from Shen OTPs like Petu, Shending Help, God Shen, Blue Ninja, but also content that helped me with fundamentals of the game such as lane phase, macro, jungle tracking, wave management, spacing, warding from content creators like Coach Aragon, Nice, etc. And also, I of course had a little bit of a coaching from high elo friends and had some close friends who had greater knowledge of the game that shared it with me. And also, VOD reviewing even my own losses and wins. All of it helped me become a better player to climb faster and I could say that a year ago, I was a totally different player. I'm a better player now and so can you if you do the same. The next thing I want to discuss is mental and grinding approach. I believe one of my perks is that I have a lot of determination. I usually never give up and I persevere. I seldom surrender and I firmly believe that many consider lost games end up giving me LP in the end because I refuse to say no during surrender calls. And I believe it's very important to treat every game as winnable until one of the Nexus falls. And if you give up, you are not going to win and I find it interesting and fun to win from behind, which often comes from honing your macro to outplay the enemy and use their mistakes against them. However, that perseverance and determination mindset can sometimes not come with a problem. Grinding while you're angry, tilted, and not having fun. If you play two or three games in a row and you lose them, especially when your team did not perform and you tried so hard to win, or sometimes didn't even get the chance to play the game, it can be very, very frustrating and affect your mental. I think forcing yourself to play after this happened can often yield lost tricks. I really hope they follow this own advice. I once went from Masters 100 OP down to Plat 3 playing while tilted, grinding forced myself to play while my mental, decision making, micro and macro performance were heavily affected by the frustration of previous losses. Once I approached the game and played a little less on my main, I started climbing higher and reached 250 LP masters. By the way, there's nothing wrong with grinding. If it's your thing, if you have time and you're having fun, grind, go for it. But know that the league sometimes can be mentally exhausting and most people perform start dropping after 5 or 6 games. You should play to have fun. It's okay to have an ultra competitive mindset like mine. However, remember. The goal is to have fun. If you're not having fun, you shouldn't be playing. Otherwise, you hate the game and become a little bit bitter yourself and tilted. Take breaks when you're not having fun. 
play a different game, try norms, A runs, play with new builds, smurfs, etc. My next tip is don't be afraid to adapt when needed and limit test yourself. In nature, the most successful species isn't always the strongest or the fastest, but the one that can best adapt to the changes in the environment. And the same goes for League of Legends, where items and champions are constantly changed. If you remember from my Shen of Steel 2.0 video guide, you can remember how I dropped Elo by playing Wild Tilted, but I was also forcing a build that was no longer compatible with my playstyle and the current state of the game. At least on how I played it, I knew I had to do something different. I experimented and created a new build and I have been having insane success since I started using it. I remember someone asked me in my med school interview to one of the professors, what makes a student successful in this program? And one of the things the doctor answered was the ability to adapt, the humbleness of admitting that you do not know everything and that your approach is no longer working, getting feedback and trying new ways to persevere and overcome your challenges. And that's exactly what I did to climb back and higher than ever before. Every game is a new situation. You cook and butter build may work for most games, but you need to be able to detect situations where an item must be delayed in your build in favor of a different item for a different playstyle that better fits the state of the game and the team composition and matchups. Finally, don't be afraid to limit testing. Gaining knowledge is important, but one thing is knowing the theory and the other thing is applying it. You only get good at the game if you try to apply the things you learn in game and limit test your champion. Don't be afraid to limit test even if you're int or die sometimes. That way your brain will just adjust and you will know how to handle a similar situation in the future. And the more you play and limit test yourself, the more you understand how items, match up, comps, and state of the game will affect your plays and you will be able to naturally judge better if a play is bad or good to make. Of course, do not be afraid to take risks, especially from behind. But push your advantage if you're ahead, but calculate better risks to not give a comeback chance for your opponent. And for concluding guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope some of these tips and tricks can be helpful for you to climb in League of Legends. I know I'll try to expand on a little bit in future videos some of the things that I talked about it. But anyways, if you liked it, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. If you have any question or feedback, please drop a comment and I will respond whenever I can. I see you guys next time.